hello dear students welcome to axiomatic course this video is the part of the solution series for iit jam 2018 so we are here with this problem one of your paper this problem is from the topic abstract algebra so let us firstly have a look which one of the following is true so you have four options out of which you have to pick the correct option so it says zn is cyclic if and only if n is prime second one says every proper subgroup of zn is cyclic third one says every proper subgroup of s4 is cyclic and fourth one says every proper subgroup of a group is cyclic then the group is cyclic so you have these options in your hand all right so what i will suggest you i will suggest you to just pick the correct one okay don't try to think over the counter example and then discard three options and then mark correct one are you getting my point because the correct option which is here in this question is very easy to see so let me uh, do that first then i will discard the remaining option for you so op uh, what do we know about cyclic groups all right so i will write that thing so what is this note note is very simple that every subgroup of a cyclic group is cyclic right so this is a very basic statement that we already know okay if you have done a course in abstract algebra so you must uh, have seen this this thing this note so that means b is your correct option why it says every proper subgroup so uh, uh, what it says every proper subgroup of zn is cyclic all right so now what do you know you know that zn with this operation forms a cyclic group okay forms a cyclic group for all n all right are you getting my point or not it's a cyclic group for every n now since it's a cyclic group for every n why it's a cyclic group because you know that one belongs to zn okay one belongs to zn i should write in this way one belongs to zn such that order of one is actually n are you getting my point or not so order of one is always n inside this because if you will add one n times then only you will get zero so i hope this is the basic thing you already know now since zn is a cyclic group therefore every subgroup of a cyclic group is cyclic there that means every proper subgroup of zn is cyclic so finally we what we have done we have proved that b is correct a is incorrect c is incorrect d is incorrect all right so what are the things that were used the first thing that every prop every subgroup of a cyclic group is cyclic the second one is zn with respect to addition modulo n forms a cyclic group for every n belongs to natural number are you getting my point therefore uh, we got b as your correct answer now let us try to discard this all right a option okay this is for the knowledge purpose only nothing to do with the question so it says if and only if n is prime then zn is cyclic i will choose z4 and operation is this all right so what do you know about this group one belongs to this z4 now if you will add one up to how many times four times and operation is addition modulo 4 then you will get 0 and you will not get 0 if you if you are not adding 4 element that means order of 1 is actually 4 are you getting my point so this is a basic thing so that's why since you got an element which has the which has the order same as the order of the group that means this element is going to generate this group all right so what is the definition for cyclic group so it, it has two definitions actually the first one is that if there exists an element such that that element can generate the whole group then we call that group as a cyclic 
or another definition just equivalent definition that if you have an element of order uh, let us say we have a group of order n so it says the group or the group of order n is called cyclic if there exists an element of order n are you getting my point so this is how we can show that for for a non prime number z4 is cyclic so that's why a is incorrect c option suggest you that every proper subgroup of s4 is cyclic you know about alternating groups all right this alternating groups can consist of even permutations only it's a subgroup of s4 and you also know that it's not cyclic so that is what uh, is the counter for c that's why c is incorrect now let us come to your d option d option suggests that if every subgroup of a group is cyclic then group is cyclic all right so what i will do i will just consider your k4 group what is k4 kalin group it is called kalin group it consists of uh, elements like this okay e a b a b all right so order of a is 2 and order of b okay i should write it in proper way let me raise this thing okay so you have this So, uh, it consists of these elements such that a square is equal to b square is equal to identity all right so this is actually this is actually an abelian group okay so ab is also equal to ba so why no, this is abelian group so what it says that if every proper subgroup of of a group is cyclic so you have a four order group right what is k order of k4 it's four now since you have a four order group that means it's subgroup proper subgroup can have only order proper subgroup of uh, this k4 can have only order 1 2 only are you getting my point so proper subgroup can have only these two orders the subgroup of order 1 is always cyclic because it consists of only identity element subgroup of order 2 is cyclic because it's a prime order group so since the order of this group is prime therefore it is cyclic so you have this k4 group which uh, which is uh, which is abelian not cyclic but it's every subgroup is cyclic why because you have only two possible orders for the subgroup left are you getting my point so this is why your d is a incorrect choice so b is correct so this is how we can solve all right so thank you